Talk about how we couldn't find any instructions on this. <laughs> and the internet was almost useless. Yeah. So let's go over to this door and show you what we're dealing with. Trunks looks better. But, okay, so we're trying to replace the gasket for the wing window and the gaskets, all the, the weather stripping, it's all off now. But um, to do that, you've got to take this wing window out. And it's been a, it's probably been the most difficult thing we've encountered. So talk us through what you did. We don't need to take the window out. That was once something we thought we had to do. But well, this yeah, is. We thought we had to take glass out, but it, we found that the bottom stop that limits the travel. The window downward could be adjusted, and we could get it down. So that. show us what that looks like. Well, it's kind of hard to see, and don't don't worry about going up. If you can picture this going, instead of going this way, but it goes this way. And it's so it it let the the window that. tilt a little bit this way and this way. Days. Yeah, one of them can't one, come out. Yeah, the other's welded in there, so we can rock this a little bit down. We can reach. Our but we couldn't take this this piece off, which is okay. So see how the rubber the rubber's all gross and and uh, you know it's not keeping water out. But this piece was right here. And so this rubs up against the window and then on the inside you've got your felt and this is new this is a replacement but these felt pieces and you you do this with the old one and they just break off so to get to, to get in the inside the panel is no big deal i just got to take the take these levers off and there's little clips you have one off yeah it's in there, oh, it's in there. so there's little clips you got to make sure you get a little special tool and push those clips, which is there. Well, it looks like that kind of. It looks like like this one, but it it this goes in and it hits those clips and pushes it back. So that helps you take them off. But once you take those off, and then there's screws that are very evident. There's like down here in the bottom. But then after you take that off, you can get the door panel off and that's not a big deal. That's, that was pretty easy, you didn't need instructions for that. Here's the tool that, that we use to, to, so this slides in. And it could be like this, and it could be like, like this, depending upon who put them on. And we found them both ways in this car. So go in like this and it pops that clip and then you can pull the door uh, lever off. So after the door level, after the panel's off and we place that, no big deal, but then this piece was in here and we couldn't figure out when this is in here it, we couldn't figure out how to get to those screws because the window was in the way it wouldn't go down far enough so we thought we had to take the glass out but turns out you don't have to take the glass out it's still in obviously it's just you got to adjust the bottom piece to where you can get it to go low enough. If it goes low enough, then you can get your screwdriver in there and take those out. So this is the new rubber that's going to be replacing. Oh, it got got bent a little bit. But um, well, anyway, yeah, don't wiggle it around too much. <laughs> but that's going to go there. But the hardest part was taking the wing window out. And Dad did it, so tell us how you did it. Because this, if you look at that door over there, you know, this is what goes up against this part of the window. If you look at or the door frame. everywhere there's a hole here. You got here, 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 and here was had a clamp on it. There's a stud that went through with a double-ended stud, another double-ended stud down here. And those double-ended studs were annoying. Where did they go? Did there, you get it all out? Right. There, one's in the bottom of the door. The other is still hanging there. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, one fell into the door channel. So we'll have to fish that out. That's probably where the other one was. Next, let me go over here and show them what it looks like. Cause... So when you take... Alright, so right here, when you take that off, you can see this is like a flathead. I'm sticking my fingernail in it. 
but that basically that adjusts the wing window it's like you can close it make your door close tighter or not by adjusting these things it tilts the pitch of the of the window the angle but you've got to take those off and it just didn't want to go until you until you got these pieces this is the crank so when i when i turn this that's what makes the wing window open and so but it it slips in like like this but vertical so it slips down in there and then that's what moves that around but this piece came off i don't know if we need to take that piece out now that we've got it out though what's that so but after getting that then the whole piece comes out and wait till the camera adjusts so we're getting this felt piece, and this is where the glass the window track, track right. is. But we've got the piece for... Who's the company you've been using again? Steel Rubber. So Steel Rubber. They've been great. You know, we've got the, the product here. This is for a 65 two-door fastback, or is that what they call them? Yeah, it's, it's the two-door hardtop. Hardtop, so... So now we have to get the glass out of here to replace By the way, you notice, this piece. Who do you know has a carpeted garage? Yeah, I've already pointed that out. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in handy to do this. It's awesome. This is all old remnants and stuff. This used, I, I actually remember this carpet in Las Vegas when I lived there as a kid. But this remnants go here, carpet store, and get a roll in, then remnant. So this is... I've painted this because there was some surface rust. I scrubbed it down and then I repainted it. Um, but those are the back, back, back seat panels, and so it's pretty. So this is the old sweeper. Uh, it's inside the door panel here. You know the window would be right here, going up and down, and the holes don't match up on the ones we purchased so I've been taking this and then drilling so the holes match up with the and I guess you know you could do it the other way you could drill into the new piece but i'm drilling into the old piece because you know you're gonna have extra holes somewhere and yes my dad does put old carpet on the bottom of his garage floor <laughs> so the cars have a really nice place to, to 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 ride their tires so but i just this had some surface rust on it so i'm painting that to protect it but when we flip it over it looks beautiful. So, I see, hopefully that paint. Yep. So, stuff that where the door lock goes. And no red paint, so we're good. <laughs>